Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Run Academy in English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. Well, you know, a lot of students have been facing issues in order to manage time properly when it comes to the preparation for the NEET 2025 examination. So, my dear students, I would want you guys to watch this particular video till the end so that after the at the end of this particular session, you will exactly have an idea of how to manage time properly in an effective way so as to cross 690, 700 plus when it comes to the NEET 2025 examination. Because managing time for these upcoming seven, seven and a half months, that is going to play a vital role when it comes to the NEET 2025 preparation, right? So in this particular session, which I'm going to keep very short and precise, I'm going to basically address three types of students here. The first category of students is those students who are only, only and only preparing from our YouTube classes. That is the game of need 2.0, right? How do we, how do these particular students manage time? The ones who are basically doing the self-study, who have not taken any offline coaching, who are not the part of any paid online batches, right? So I'll be addressing these students first. After that, I'll be addressing those particular students who are the part of offline coachings, right? How they can manage time. And at the same time, those particular students also I'll be addressing in this particular session who are the part of the paid online batches, be it wherever platform you guys are studying on, right? So these three categories of students I'm going to address here in this particular session, right? My dear students, one thing before starting this particular session, see, if you really want to crack this particular examination, you have to give your best shot. You have to give your best shot. You should be only studying, doing nothing apart from studying. Whether you are watching the lectures, whether you are solving a study material, DPPs, NCRT solving, it is just only there should be one thing in your mind that that is you just have to study. That's all. If you are willing to do that, then only it is really possible. It is really possible to crack this particular examination with an amazing score, even if you are starting from zero at this particular point of time. It is just your commitment, your dedication is required here. Nothing more than that is required. Okay. So all the distractions aside. Let's make these seven months very effective. Let's try to study for like 13, 14 hours every single day for the upcoming seven, eight months. And my dear students, as I keep on telling you, if you do that, nobody is going to stop you in order to wear that white coat. Just keep that thing in mind. Now, those particular students who are basically the droppers and who are just studying for YouTube, who have not taken any paid batch or, or whether they have taken the paid batch, they are not. I mean, I mean, they have got backlogs, etc, etc. Okay, how they can manage time, what kind of timetable they should follow. My dear students, first of all, you know, for such kind of the students, this is the series which we have started, which starts exactly at 5pm every single day till 3am in the morning. And in these like 10 hours, we complete one particular chapter on this particular channel. I would highly want, I would highly suggest you guys to follow that particular series because every single thing is are happening in the detailed manner. All the theory, all the problem pattern. So first of all, follow that effectively. Okay. Do not create backlogs now. Okay. Consider it as the last option for you guys to enter into your dream college. So first of all, your 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. should be for the lectures which are happening on this particular channel. Right. One day, one chapter will be done and dusted through Game of Need 2.0. Number one. Number two, 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. should be your sleeping time just for six hours and six hours is enough. Okay. It's not less. Some people will tell you stay for 10 hours, nine hours so that your body will be healthy and all. My dear students, if you are not willing to exert, there is no fun of preparing this particular examination. There is, okay. So your sleeping time has to be just six hours. Okay. So 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. I have kept for the breakfast and the exercise stuff. Now 10 to 1 should be only the DPP solving. 10 to 1 should be only for the DPP solving. Now, DPP solving of which particular chapter? The chapter which you completed here, right? The chapter which you completed here, on the another day, you go for its DPP solving, right? 1 to 2 has to be the lunch time, then 2.30 to 4 p.m. has to be the NCRT reading and NCRT in-text exercise question solving of the same chapter which you have covered here last night, okay? Just keep on following this particular schedule every single day. In just 75 days, your whole syllabus will be done and dusted, not only the syllabus completion. Let me tell you, your whole syllabus is getting completed, all the theory, all the problem patterns discussed in the class itself. After that, 
the DPPs which I provide you on my Telegram. If you are not the part of Telegram, be the part of Telegram on which I share the DPPs after my every single session. Well, the name of the Telegram channel is Vaseem But Chemistry Official, right? On which I keep on sharing the DPPs after every lectures. Perfect. So basically your theory, problem patterns, DPP solving, NCRT reading, every single thing is happening here. And you just have to follow it for the upcoming 70 days. And in 70 days, your whole syllabus will be done and dusted in detail. Okay, this was for those students who are particularly studying from YouTube. Now, all those students, whether you are the dropper, whether you are right now in class 12th, and you are the part of the offline coachings, right? If you are the part of offline coachings, I'm assuming that uh, these students, for example, if you're not the part of YouTube and stuff, okay? So, how you can manage time here? It is, again, easy for you guys to manage time. It's not really difficult. So, guys, wake up time has to be 6 a.m., right? Then 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. has to be for the breakfast exercise. 7 to 8.30, I'm just keeping one and a half hour, half hour for the bio revision, right? Because morning time is considered to be very effective time when it comes to remembering things, okay? So I'm assuming from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. you're going to the coaching. So this is your offline coaching time. Then 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. I'm keeping for the rest and lunch stuff, etc., etc. My dear students, 3 p.m. onwards. 3 p.m. onwards. Still, I would say, till I would say 10 p.m. Or you can stretch it to 11 p.m. Right? What exactly you have to do? You do not have to do anything new. What exactly you have to do? Revision of what is done in the coaching. Whatever you will be doing in the coaching from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., whatever concepts you have discussed in different subjects, first of all, you have to revise your notes. You have to revise your notes. You have to solve the same questions again which your teacher solved in the daytime in the coaching, number one. Number two, you have, this time should be for, the, for solving DPPs. Perfect. Whatever topics your teacher covered in the coaching, same topics, I mean, say, uh, same topics are to be I mean, their DPPs are to be solved, right? Whatever topics have been covered in your coaching, right? Uh, you just have to do the questions from NCRT in-text and NCRT exercise of the same topics which your teacher have covered in the coaching, right? And I'm keeping from 3 p.m. till 10 p.m. till 11 p.m. These are almost like seven hours. Leave one hour for the dinner, one hour for the rest. At least five hours you have in your hand after your coaching, right? Wherein you can do all this stuff. So if you... If you do this regularly, there'll be no backlogs at all. No backlogs at all. And you are doing things effectively. And YouTube, YouTube you can consult for the, for the revision stuff. Okay? If you get time properly, you can consult YouTube also for the revisions. Perfect? Now, then you have got those particular students which are the part of our online batches. Right? Online batch, for example, you know, are one of the batch which is currently running. Right? That is Phoenix batch. So all those particular students who are the part of the paid online batches. Right, like we have the students preparing with us on the platform through Phoenix Batch, right, for the NEET 2025 examination. So, what exactly you need to do, my dear students? As I told you, as I told you in the plus class also, as I told you in the actual Phoenix class also, you also are supposed to follow the particular series which we have started on YouTube, right? You are also supposed to do that because my point is, my point is, you should be studying for 15, 16 hours a day. You should be studying for 15, 16 hours a day for upcoming 70 days. For upcoming 70 days, my dear students. And let me tell you, in 70 days, your syllabus will be completing. I mean, your syllabus will be getting completed twice. One, who game of need 2.0. Another one, in the platform itself also. Right? So what exactly you'll be doing? 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. should be for the game of need 2.0. One day, one chapter. Then 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. is your sleeping time. Then 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. Right? How many hours they will be? Uh, they are in total. 9 to 5 will be 9, 3, 12, 3. 3 plus 5, 8. You have got 8 hours in total. Out of 8 hours, I'm considering only 4 plus 3, 7 hours. Right? 1 hour I'm keeping for lunch and stuff. Now, how you are going to utilize these 7 hours from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.? Because 5 p.m. again, there will be one more session starting on YouTube for the game of need 2.0. So, I would say... I would say from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. What you'll be doing? You'll be attending again two classes, two classes in the Phoenix batch. Every class duration is almost one and a half hour. So you are utilizing three hours. You are utilizing three hours, right, for the platform class. Perfect. 
you are utilizing three hours out of those seven hours you are utilizing three hours for the platform class the remaining four hours you'll be getting in the remaining four hours you'll be solving the same dpp which i keep on sharing on my telegram or if you have the study material from your from your online platform right just try solving the same study material in the remaining four hours so remaining four hours should be for dpp solving right ncrt solving perfect and my dear students this routine has to be followed for the upcoming 70 days as i told you in 70 days your syllabus will be getting done and dusted twice it will be hectic for you guys i know this is hectic and in order to be for the screen in order to be in front of the screen for like uh, 10 to 12 hours it's very difficult but it is manageable and this is for your benefit only that we have started the youtube series as well perfect so that you can study for 15 16 hours a day and my dear students let me honestly tell you if you are doing that if you are studying for 15 16 hours a day you are done you're sorted trust me on that just follow these things just follow these things three uh, 5 p.m to 3 a.m for the youtube series three to nine sleeping time right then nine to ten you can I mean, go for your for your breakfast, etc. And after that, whatever time is left till 5 p.m. In that particular time, there should be you should be attending two classes of your paid classes, two classes of your paid batch. That is that means three hours. Okay. Apart from those three hours, whatever time you are getting, four hours, five hours, whatever time is left, that should be only for the problem solving, PPP solving, right? Whatever NCRT exercise solving, NCRT reading. Of the same things which we are doing here as well as here. perfect and people as i told you december onwards that that should be only for the revision you should not be studying anything new after december onwards and perfect so only for the revisions and you should be writing only the mock test which includes full syllabus mock test part syllabus mock test etc etc and particularly for you guys i know this is comparatively difficult for you but at the same time people at the same time we are only keeping four to five marathons in a week Perfect. The remaining two days we are giving you for the rest purpose as well. We know health is also important. Perfect. So we are doing that. 